Hi, and welcome to the National Human Genome Research Institute. Today, we are going to make these beautiful origami that, as you can see, are a DNA double helix. So by now, you've probably already printed out your DNA origami folding instructions with six steps and the actual paper version of the origami itself. If you haven't printed it out yet, you can just go to genome.gov and search for DNA origami. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is cut out the actual origami out of this paper here, and you'll see the scissor guide so you'll know which border to cut out. So when you finish, it'll look like this. Now, the first step is to take this line here in the center and use that as your guide to fold this paper in half. Try and make sure it's as precise as possible And when you fold, just make sure your creases are very crisp. I'm going to repeat this a lot during the video because it's very important. It'll really help you near the last step, which is the hardest one. So I'm just going to go over it a few times here. You want the side to be on the one that has the diagonal lines going up to the upper left-hand corner. And I like this one because it spells cat. Now from here, you're going to take these horizontal gray lines and you're just going to bend the paper at each line and you can use the horizontal lines below as a guide. And again, try and get those crisp edges here. So just use your nail. If you can't use your fingernail, you can use the back of a pen or a quarter, whatever works for you. Just try the best you can. And just take your time with this. Since you want it to be as accurate as possible, you know, try not to rush through it. You can watch TV, or listen to music, or talk to your friends while you're doing it. Okay. Once you're done, I like to just go through and make sure that I folded all of the lines and that I got a nice crisp edge. There might be some that if they don't really feel crisp enough, you can just go through and do them once more. Oh, see I missed one. This is why I do this step. For this next step, you want to make sure the paper's on the other side now so that the diagonal lines are going to the upper right hand corner. Now this time we're going to fold all of these diagonal lines here. And we want to do the same thing. Make sure that you get on the line as close as possible. And we want those crisp edges again. Use your nail, back of a pen, a quarter, whatever works for you. But I promise it's really going to help you at the end. I think it's nice to have these bold colors contrasting at each line so you can kind of see where the next line starts. And just take your time. And remember, your origami does not have to be perfect. All of our DNA is unique, so it makes sense that our DNA origami would be too. And if you mess up, you can just go back on our website, genome.gov, and print out another one. You just keep doing them, and then you become a pro. Okay? And just like we did with the first step, let's just go back and make sure that we got all of our lines here and that they're nice, crisp edges. And just go back and redo the ones that aren't quite as crisp as you would like. Okay. Almost there. Okay, by now, your paper is probably starting to curve a little bit, which is great. It means it's starting to look more like that helix that we're going for. And so for this next step, we're gonna fold up these white edges here that have the logos on them. And we're gonna start with the edge that does not have a logo. So you're just gonna fold it up and it can be kind of finicky. So I like to just take each little part and bend it a little bit just to make sure it stays up.
And once you do that, you can get that nice crisp line again. And then pull it up so it makes a 90 degree angle. It'll give us a really nice border. And you're going to flip it over and do the same thing. You're going to make that logo pop. Give it a little bend so it stays up. Get that nice crisp line again. And then bring it up to a 90 degree angle. All right, almost there. Okay, we're at the final step. And it's the most difficult one, but I think if you got those crisp lines, then that will really come in handy and it won't be too bad. So we're going to start with the T at the top, and we're just going to let it bend down. And we're going to let all of these edges bend down together. I'm going to keep pinching it like this and just kind of guide all of them down while also making sure that my nice white borders stay up top here. And if they are, if these lines aren't quite bending easily, then that might need to, um, mean that you have to go back and make sure your lines are crisp. And just take your time with this. It can be a little tricky. Okay, so by the end, you should have it kind of like this, so it's like one singular disc here with all of my borders around. And I'm going to bend, or I'm going to pinch each corner here so that we get our DNA looking really nice when we uncover it. So just kind of go in a circle and pinch each edge with your fingers. And I'll show you from this angle too. Okay, and now you should have a beautiful DNA double helix origami. Great job. And thanks for watching. Feel free to go to genome.gov to learn more about DNA or just print out another origami and do it all over again.